It's already 6 p.m. It's because I spent the whole day working on my dissertation. I just had this other calculation to put in because my supervisor was our decision and risk analysis professor, so he's very into all of the data and Excel type of goodness. So I was working on that, still haven't heard back from him, waiting for all of that final feedback. And then for a couple hours, I was meeting up with some of my friends from my course who have been... Oh, my email. Maybe that's my professor? No. Um, yeah, so I just met up with some of my friends from my course who have been with me throughout this whole grad school journey. Oh, I'm with that right now. I'm with, I'm with some of my friends. And we're sad. We're sad. No, we're happy. Drinking cups of tea and having a very British yeah. afternoon tea with meat in the cake. We're just all finishing up our dissertations, I guess. We have actually been talking for like a couple hours, so. Deep shit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so this will not be the last time. This will not be the last time. <laughs> but I'm not yeah. sad. We're sad. Semi sad. Semi sad. But not too sad. The year's coming to an end. But I'm gonna miss you guys. <laughs> Me too. Let's not make this too sad. <laughs> we should meet in Mexico. Mexico. Yeah, Margarita, Mexico. Margarita, mm. 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 No, you don't, you don't want us to come to I know. No, come and I will just feed you with kebab. <laughs> yeah. So it was really nice to catch up with them. I'm home now, um, and my mom was nice enough to pick up some food for me. She got me a California roll, and then we're each gonna have one of these. What is it called again? Yubu chobab. Yubu chobab? <laughs> Yubu chobab. So we're gonna share that. Also, we bought this tea. The brand is Tea Pigs, which is a UK brand, and their chamomile tea. For their chamomile tea, they use whole flowers instead of crushing it, so it's really good. And you can see this color just came from like five seconds of it being in the water. My Japanese friend told me it's her pet peeve when people put wasabi in the soy sauce. <laughs> My Japanese friend told me she hates it when people put wasabi in the soy sauce. <laughs> I don't know, I forgot. I think you're supposed to put some directly on it, maybe? Mm. Her parents own a sushi restaurant. Oh. It's a supermarket tribute, right? Yeah. It's Thank you. Mm. Back from dinner, we decided to go to Nando's. My mom really wanted a salad, and when I go to Nando's, I always get a veggie pita, which which I think is pretty healthy. Um, if you're not following me on my food Instagram, by the way, it's at Kato Eats, and I feel like I keep plugging it here and there, but it's because I think a lot of you like my food-related videos. Yeah, I'm not filming any cooking videos at the moment because my kitchen here in my dorm is not that great, but yeah, if you're interested in what I'm eating, um, especially, I guess, right now as I'm traveling around Europe, then follow me on there. Not much else for today because we're going to Italy tomorrow. It's raining right now in London and um, Italy will be completely different. It's going to be in like the high 80s to 90s um, Fahrenheit, which I think is like high 30s Celsius. I still haven't gotten that used to using Celsius after living here for a year. Thought I could show you what I'm gonna put into my technology electronics type of pouch uh, because I am finishing up packing. So I got this like for free somewhere, I don't know, um, but it's very handy. It has three compartments. In this top one, I just have an extra memory card, which I never really use, but I keep it in case, and a USB stick. In this one, I'm gonna put in my headphones, which as I said, I always um, put them into the case. So what you do is you put the right earbud in the, in the right side and the left one on the left side. You loop over the left side cord first, and then you loop over the right side so that the um, volume control fits right there. And then you just wrap it around. And once it's wrapped around, then just pop on the case and you might have to adjust the cords. There you go. So that will go in there. I have a US to UK converter, which I usually use strictly for my computer charger. Speaking of that, I have this here, but I usually don't put this inside the pouch because it's quite big. I also have a power bank. And I 
think that is it for this pouch, this section that is. In this last section, I have this iPhone cord here, which is just the one that my phone came with, and I use that with the power bank, so I carry that one around in my purse. And then I have another six foot iPhone uh, charging cable, which is the one that I use like at home. So I don't carry that one around. And I have a micro USB cord for my external charger that I put into the previous compartment, as well as my camera. And I really should get some cord ties for these, but ugh, for now, this is as organized as I will get. I have another adapter. This one is US to Universal. So it'll work for Europe like that, the UK, like that, another US, and then it has Australia. Finally, I have this uh, power strip, which has three US outlets and two USB outlets. So this is so that my mom can just put in her charger here, and then I can also charge um, my phone or my camera through this. It's also handy to just use this, but this only has one um, USB port, so... Yeah, actually maybe I should just take this one. But I like to charge my iPhone and my camera at the same time, so. Anyway, that is it for today. Just gonna make sure we have everything in order for Italy. Um, earlier today, I printed a bunch of different tickets for our museums and other things that I booked. Um, so just gonna confirm that we have everything and get up early tomorrow to go to the airport. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.